hello friends welcome to your channel anime so today i'm going to help you on how to have your animation on screen inside next year so drag this folder right inside your inside the visual studio code this this will be a, an empty folder then let's make max, maximize our visual studio code then inside our visual studio code we are going to we are going to install a new terminal uh, right there let's have a new terminal then what i'm going to do i'm going to I'm going to say inside this next terminal we're going to have listings make sure that this folder is empty then let's start our installation of npx create next app at latest and then let's give the name to my app let's give this name my app so what I'm just doing there I'm just showing you how to create a next app so that you, you may be you are familiar let's say just say every, enter, yes to everything yes yes to everything yes to ev everything let's install everything let's see. so after that you have done finishing this one we are going to have a folder my app appearing right at the top there So we're going to have the basic installation of our file. You can see that I've added the next app inside my inside my folder. So yes, you can see the next step we're going to do is we're going to say list to make sure that we are in the right directory. They can see the list is my app. So I need to change the file to CD my app. Then let's run npm run dev to run this application on our google chrome browser you can see now we have got our application on localhost 3000 but that's not for it i need to see the the green tick for ready to use they can see i've got now the ready to use so what i'm going to do nextly is that we are going to have to copy this link for to to look at was 3000 you can see that i've got this next app that is running there so now you can see that if once we have got this next app we can come back inside our browser let's just make some few so, some change okay open a new term split the terminal into two so that you can got new two terminals then make this side this side terminal I'll choose CD my app to make sure that I'm in the right directory. Let's say npm install react icons. So that this is what the old method that you probably used and you are familiar with. So I'm just going to show you once I install it, it's going to show us some errors so that you know what you are way way you are getting it wrong. But if you don't if you don't want this stage, you can just press on skip to can check out on the chapters inside the description to go to the way you want but now i've got to install this one using npm react icons npm install react icons now i'm going to come here inside my 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 my, my app wing, working director let's go inside our app folder subfolder and i'm just going to make some small changes to our code so that we get we get the end result that is perfectly to what we want go inside your pages tsx folder i'm going to delete some code here minimize using line 5 for the main and highlight everything there we're going to delete it the, the main end is coding let's come inside our file and we are going to say div create an empty div then i'm going to have some just some content which are which i shall use i'll use welcome to animation on scroll aos Let's reload the page you can see now i've got need to change the global css folder so for this one i'm just going to leave the top three lines for tailwind and delete everything that is below uh, the it's telling tsa from root to right there up to the end of the page 
okay let me also delete this part that was left behind now you can see that i have deleted everything now you can come inside our browser and we check the changes there you can see the changes that have applied so now i'm going to delete this top image that i've imported it's of no relevance then let's have boiler text code that's that's importing react use effect import aoss and import as uh, so you can see that the error on line 2 that, uh, that that we are talking about import as aos from aos you can see that there's an error so now i'm going to do is that we are going we are also we're being reminded that we have used use effect so we need to add use client that's one that's also a common error that client that a lot of young developers face so you can make sure that you once you use use effect you need to add use client right, right at the top there so we are going to add use client at the top everything that i'm teaching you here will help you to solve this issue remember just that if you follow all these steps you're going to be fine and let's okay they can see now we have got this error of can't resolve a, a os on line three so now import AOS on line three this is the common error that 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 is that is that is, that is brought you to this challenge that you are facing so I'm, I'm going to show you this is probably the final part of the video where i'm going to show you how to resolve this issue i'm going to simplify it for you so that you know you know come on our side come on to our side terminals and let's type list make sure that we're in the right directory so after you type list now you're going to clear everything since we're in the correct directory so now this is where we're going to have the most important part we're going to have to Im to write a new command that will solve everything so this one the command that is we're going to use is npm install dash 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 save dash dev eight types slash forward slash aos as you can see i will also leave the command on the screen now you're going you're going to install this one they can see automatically the error on line three is on import a aos animation on scroll from aos has disappeared they can see this is how you resolve this issue using this command npm install save dev it then you're also going to have line two let's just remove that react because we are already in next js they can see all the errors have been now been successfully removed now I'm just, I'm just going to demonstrate to you the outcome that are going to have let me add a that the data aos fed up and we let's wrap our text inside h1 text So you can now see if I let me also add a paragraph with the boiler text. So if I now come into my browser, you can see on 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 reloading the web page, you can see this fade up on the on the on the top right on the top left of the screen. They can see the text is topping, but I want I want to center it, so I'm just going to give some telling CSS coding. So now I'm just going to happen right at the middle of the screen. They can see just we have successfully loaded up our our or our animation on scroll, and we have successfully solved it. So if you like my content, remember to subscribe and press on the notification button so that you won't miss future content. Thank you for watching.